soil is the basis for the production of food, as well as feed, fuel, and fiber production. It also provides many critical ecological services. Soil is the reservoir for at least one quarter of all global biodiversity. And yet it is largely microbial and invisible to the human eye, so it generally goes unrecognized. Soil biodiversity deserves the same attention as above-ground biodiversity. This requires huge awareness raising of its critical functions. Soils play a key role in the supply of clean water and in providing resilience to intense rains, floods, and drought. Primary nutrient cycling through soil processes is the basis for plant and animal life. The largest store of terrestrial carbon is in the soil, its preservation may contribute to climate change mitigation. However, the area of productive soil is limited, and soil functions are under increasing pressure from various threats, notably the various forms of degradation that range from erosion and compaction to nutrient mining and loss of organic matter, as well as salinization and contamination. The Global Soil Partnership, known as GSP, was established by FAO members and a range of soil partners in 2012. The intention was to create a unified voice, to advocate due attention to sustainable soil management and protection, and to avoid fragmentation of efforts and wastage of resources. Its Intergovernmental Technical Panel on Soils, or ITPS, first met in early 2013 and is of fundamental importance. It provides scientific advice to the GSP for successful implementation of its five pillars of action through implementation of plans developed by the regional soil partnerships. I'm uh, the chair of the Intergovernmental Technical Panel on Soils that was recently established in the frame of, of the Global Soil Partnership by governments. It's filling a gap, essentially, uh, which was felt existed for all the uh, soil-related uh, scientific issues uh, that have relevance for sustainable development on a global scale. The pillars have an objective of identifying how we can use and manage our soils into the future to ensure that we can meet the demands of people now and our future generations. And the role of the ITPS members to ensure that these pillars reflect the best knowledge available now, highlight the really important pressing global issues and identify the best ways we can actually tackle the issues associated with soil use and management. ITPS collaborates with other scientific panels or uh, international uh, scientific bodies by providing uh, expertise on uh, land degradation and restoration, fertilizer use management, plant nutrient uh, management, and also it provides uh, scientific input if there are changes in the soil functions, how would they affect the other ecosystem issues such as soil biodiversity, climate change interactions, desertification, human health, and so on. A brief that um, talks on the crucial role that soils have on sustainable development. The key issues that soils now are at risk, degradation of soils is an issue, and this threatens um, the capacity to meet the needs for future generations. The TITPS and the GSP are key government uh, mechanisms to move on the agenda on soils. The World Soil Charter is a set of principles that, if widely adopted, would increase the amount of land under sustainable production and the overall amount of uh, productive land. 
These principles are linked to a series of actions, actions by individuals, actions by national governments, and by international organizations such as the FAO. The achievement of these actions would lead to widespread adoption of sustainable soil management. Among many other commitments uh, related to soil wellness, ITPS has a great task to do, that is the status of the World Soil Resource Report. The main uh, content of this report is going to be the general status of the soil resource in the world. Second, we are going to see all the main threats to soil function and its impacts on its consequences. Soils need to be recognized and valued not only for their productive capacities, but also for their contribution to the maintenance of key ecosystem services. The current rate of soil depletion will certainly compromise the capacity to meet the needs of future generations, unless human society can adopt a new approach to the management of this vital resource. Soil and its sustainable management are key determinants for addressing global issues and should thus be considered pivotal in any post-2015 framework. FAO came up with this idea of uh, Global Soil Partnership because it's going to bring together all partners working in the area of soil management uh, so that the uh, efforts are, are united and there's going to be a lot of synergism. People bring whatever they've been doing in terms of kits, tools, you know, on the table and, and partners would, would can choose from the basket of options and see what can be upscaled in, in, into their own countries. Because right now there are different partners working, you know, the information is so diffuse you are told to check this website, check the websites. If all these partners come together under this partnership, I, I think it's going, to, it's going to accelerate the rate of redressing the problem of soil degradation in Africa and you know, the rest of the world. The Intergovernmental Technical Panel on Soils, ITPS, is ready to provide sound science in the process of promoting sustainable soil management and in order to guarantee food security, environmental services, climate change response and human well-being. <laughs>